thank you for joining us for as we continue to celebrate what has already been a tremendous morning as we officially open the new Bethel Park High School to our community. My name is Nancy Alloy Rose. I'm the new superintendent of schools. It is my great privilege to serve this community. It's also my honor this morning to preside over this portion of our program. If you were in the auditorium with us earlier this morning, you were introduced to many people who worked hard to make this school a reality. All of those individuals contributed greatly to the success of our new school, but we would be remiss if we didn't take time to reflect and remember one special individual on this great day. On July 22nd, Right there. <laughs> On July 22nd, the Bethel Park School District suffered a devastating loss when our superintendent, Dr. Thomas A. Knight, passed away after a courageous battle with cancer. He led this district for a brief five and a half years, but his imprint on the success of this district continues to be felt in his absence. To put it in perspective, Dr. Knight came to Bethel Park at a time when we were in financial turmoil and unsettled contracts with several of our bargaining units. This not a, might not have been the most ideal job for most superintendents to consider, but it didn't deter Dr. Knight from wanting to lead our district, and lead he did. Without any fanfare, he rolled up his sleeves and quietly and effectively built a solid leadership team, resolved our financial and contractual issues, and quickly got this district moving forward. He was the kind of person who could bring diverse groups of people to the table and focus them on the tasks at hand. One of his first tasks was to look at all of the district's facilities and develop what he called our asset protection plan, which we used as a guide to get all of our schools into top physical shape. And then it was time to tackle the toughest issue of all, and that was what to do with an outdated Bethel Park High School campus. Never one to make a snap decision, Dr. Knight led the team closely as we examined several options for the high school and provided the Board of School Directors with the necessary data to help them make the final decision to build the new high school. As many of you know, the road to this new school was at times a very bumpy one. With hours of debate and public testimony, favorable and unfavorable, and through all of the times where we might have wondered if building a new high school in a down economy was the right move, Dr. Knight remained positive. He steadfastly, and Ella agrees, <laughs> steadfastly kept us focused and confident that we were proceeding along the right course of action. Without his guidance, this school might well be just another topic for discussion instead of a reality. And while he would be the last person to take credit for the success of the school, those of us who worked with him closely owe him a debt of gratitude for his steadfast composure, even faced with negative opinion. And I can say with a large degree of certainty that this school would not be here today if it weren't for his steady guidance. And that is why we're here today, dedicating this school to his memory. Those of you who knew Tom Knight knew that he never drew attention to himself. Ella agrees with that also. <laughs> he would never have wanted us to rename the school after him, but those of us who worked closely with him over the years felt that it was vital to pay tribute to him in some meaningful way. And this is our way of reminding the community of his lasting contributions, not only to the school, but to the entire school district community. The plaque we are about to unveil says it all, and I'm going to ask Dr. Uh, Jen Cianti to read the inscription. Bethel Park High School, dedicated in memory of Thomas A. Knight, superintendent of the Bethel Park School District. December 13, 2005 to July 22, 2011, whose leadership, vision, 
and commitment to excellence formed the foundation for the construction of this school. May his philosophy of fairness, honesty, and kindness inspire everyone who passes through these halls. Dr. Knight's legacy is far more reaching than just this high school. There's not a person who had the privilege of working with him who hadn't been touched by his gentleness. his warmth and his humor. <laughs> I don't know if I can do much better. <laughs> and his unwavering commitment to the education of children. He treated everyone with kindness and respect. He, he recognized the individual gifts of his staff and encouraged us to use them. Under his leadership, we were able to grow and flourish as individuals and edu educators. And I believe, we believe, that he was happiest when he saw others succeeding. The plaque we are about to unveil was purchased not by taxpayer dollars, but as a gift from those who appreciated him. At this time, I would like to thank our solicitor, Al Malo of Malo, Brungo and Malo, and the members of the Bethel Park School District Board of Directors for their generous contributions to this lasting memorial to our leader and their friend. It's my pleasure right now to introduce the members of the Knight family. Nancy Knight, Dr. Knight's wife, his son Tom, his daughter-in-law Lisa, little Ella, His parents, Tom and Jean Knight, his sister, Don Wadsworth, his aunt, Audrey Knight, his mother-in-law, Aloha Brown, and I failed to mention Don's husband, Randall, is here with their two sons as well. Mrs. Knight's sisters, Joyce Brown, Sharon Horner, Carol Huber, and their husbands, John Brown, Sam Horner, and Brent Huber. Mrs. Knight's sister, Mary McCrory, and Dr. Knight's good friend, Rico Capanna. Mrs. Knight's cousin, Tom Camarda, and his wife, Michelle, couldn't be with us today. Le Tom is here, though, but not Michelle. <laughs> okay. Lisa Knight's parents, Harold and Bonnie Dodd, are with us. And we also want to acknowledge some very good friends of Dr. Knight's, friends and colleagues who are here with us today. <laughs> Donald Martin, his fishing buddy, an associate executive director of Intermediate Unit 1, who worked with Dr. Knight at East Allegheny School District. Dr. Linda Hippert, executive director of Allegheny Intermediate Unit 3, who was a close colleague. Mr. Garrett Edmonds, retired administrator and colleague who worked with Dr. Knight at both Best Center and East Allegheny for more than 20 years. And the other half of the Smith brothers, Dr. John Lozowski, a longtime colleague and friend, and Mrs. Lozowski is here with us as well. We also have with us old colleagues from the Best Center School District, Loris and Jess Weaver, and we are so grateful. We know that Dr. Knight would be pleased. We thank all of you for sharing him with us. We are so glad you're here today. At this time, Nancy and Tom, would you please come forward to unveil the plaque. As we, this plaque officially dedicates the new Bethel Park High School in memory of our friend and superintendent. We left you a little corner on each side. Nancy, you want to here? Ready? Ready when you are. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> would you like to, would you like to say anything else? 
This is a bittersweet moment for our school district. We are proud to do this in memory of Dr. Knight, and at the same time, we're sad that he is not here to celebrate with us. We hope he is smiling down on us today. It's our honor and pleasure to pay tribute and commemorate our friend in this manner. We hope this plaque will serve as a constant reminder to everyone who enters this school of high standards that Dr. Knight set and the importance of carrying on his commitment to quality and good character. Thank you. And now I introduce to you Mrs. Nancy Knight. I'd just like to thank everyone for any little thing that you did for Tom. He loved the Bethlehem School District. He enjoyed coming to work every day. Education was his life. That's what he loved to do. And this school was his vision. And I know he is up there watching over all of us. And he would be so proud. And I thank you again for everything. 